Canelo coming in at 56-1-2 with 39 knockouts, taking on Caleb Plant undefeated at 21-0 with 12 knockouts. Plant coming in as the IBF super middleweight champ. Canelo, the WBA, WBC, and WBO belts in his possession. So Canelo looking to unify and hold all four belts in a weight class for the first time in his career. Alvarez won the WBA and WBC belts in December, a decision victory over previously unbeaten Callum Smith. He added the WBO title with a TKO win over Billy Joe Saunders in May in Arlington, Texas. Canelo normally really level-headed coming into his fights. He had a lot of beef with Caleb Plant coming in. There was some pushing, there was some shoving, a war of words. We haven't seen a lot of that from Alvarez throughout his career, but Plant really got under his skin. Canelo said, I'm gonna hurt this guy because I don't like him. Out of all the opponents Alvarez has fought in his illustrious career, Caleb Plant got under his skin the most, and it showed leading up to this fight. Would it affect the performance of Alvarez in the ring? Highly unlikely. Canelo, obviously a brilliant champion. His focus is almost second to none. Canelo, very pragmatic, very focused as always. Didn't throw a punch in the first 90 seconds of the fight. He applied pressure, tried to measure Caleb Plant's timing, get that down and set himself up for his game plan later on in the fight. Very smart fighter, Canelo Alvarez. As the round wore on in the second half of round one, Canelo hit him a bunch of times in the body, did enough work there to win the first round 10-9. In round two, Caleb Plant started to come on, became far more effective. He used some feints to set Canelo up for the left hand, both with the uppercut and to the body. Alvarez ended the round with a nice three-punch combo, but Plant won it 10-9, and we were even after two. And finally, in the 11th round, Canelo Alvarez gets the job done. He said he would hurt Plant coming in, really wanted to finish him. Canelo Alvarez, two knockdowns of Caleb Plant in round 11. The referee stops it after the second one. He never recovered from the first knockdown. Canelo Alvarez with the TKO over the previously unbeaten Caleb Plant. He's now the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world. Canelo by TKO in the 11th round. Dominating performance in the ring aside, just look at the total numbers at the end of the fight. Canelo Alvarez throws 361 punches, lands 117, 32% connectivity rate. Plant threw 441, landed 101. Plant landed a lot of jabs, 42 to just 15 for Canelo, but the power punches landed by Alvarez, almost doubling up Plant, 102 to 59, and Canelo threw 251 power punches. He doesn't waste any of those punches. He's very efficient, he connects on a lot of them, but he throws with bad intentions all night long. That's one thing about Canelo that you have to respect whether you like him or not, and of course, most people love him. So what's next for Alvarez? He wants to become the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. That's something he really wants to leave as a legacy. At 31 years old, he's beating everybody in his path. He's been unbelievable throughout his career, a huge star. We know he's never gonna get the chance to get revenge on Floyd Mayweather and win that fight that he lost. So what is next? More on Canelo and his legacy in a minute, but the fight to make is Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. Now, Canelo wants Triple G to leave 160 pounds where they fought the first two times, the draw and the win for Canelo. If Triple G wants the trilogy, he's gonna have to come up to 168 pounds, says Canelo. Canelo is undisputed super middleweight champ, and he has been pouring it on as of late. Canelo been extremely active. Four fights in a 12-month stretch, starting in December 2020 with his win over Callum Smith. And let's be honest, everybody loves a trilogy, right? Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. Wilder hadn't won either one of those fights. He still got the trilogy, so Triple G would be in the same boat. And with a name like Triple G, Trilogy 3, come on, Triple G, you gotta do this. Come up to 168 pounds and fight Canelo. The trilogy makes sense from every aspect. When you think about Triple G and his legacy getting another crack at Canelo, even though he'd have to come up to 168 pounds. For Canelo, a second win in those three fights, remember one was a draw, controversial as it was, that would be another thing to pad his Hall of Fame resume. And think about the money. Think about the money. A lot of people thought Golovkin won the draw. Think about the money they generated. The second fight, over a million pay-per-view buys and $50 million in gate receipts. Now back to Canelo's legacy and becoming the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. No other Mexican fighter had ever become an undisputed champion holding all four belts at once. That's something Canelo really wanted to do. But in terms of his legacy, think of the great fighters who have come from Mexico. Julio Cesar Chavez is probably the one that comes to mind. For Canelo to pass him, a win over Triple G in a trilogy fight, and some more wins besides that to pad his resume, keeping all four of those belts at super middleweight for an extended run, Canelo would become the greatest Mexican boxer of all time. But no matter what happens from here with Canelo Alvarez, one thing is for sure, his star is as high as it's ever been, his legacy is cemented, his place in the Hall of Fame is a lock, the undisputed super middleweight champion with all those belts and all those accolades in his career, the biggest star in the sport, it is good to be Canelo Alvarez.